Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> you seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. <sighs> Velvet! How's our heading? This is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh. Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? Uh, right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. And with this, every character that I've had with a different costume is Join now seen. Me. A Moloch? No, I'm the Reaper. Also, Eisen is one of my favorite characters in this game. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades. No pendulum to see. You 
should pass the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what, we're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the gates is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> and what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't! <laughs> that Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch, too. Hey, boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Eifried's pirates. Eifried is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that <laughs> tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. He's a fanboy. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even <laughs> lizard, we all got our fantasies. Also, the one thing that's a uh, bit of a relief from doing these uh, this new game plus playthrough. I did say that I was going to replay this game multiple times for costume changes and edits. However, the moments where I want to do that specifically are uh, not exactly that quick. I'm going to go through a bunch of uh, story before that actually occurs. Meaning most of this is just going to be just kind of a single playthrough. I'll have to replay certain moments bef before and whatnot. And yeah, I'm, depending on what I want to do, it'll get a little more uh, taxing. But uh, yeah, at least it's not every single episode I try it.
So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? I just love the costume I had out for Aizen. Just but if you're prepared to lend us the marks on his back and everything. It just looks so badass. We'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort cost the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails. I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malakim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not exactly normal ourselves. I thought it occurs. Yeah, I know, like, their dialogue and everything, and talk about how, like, you know, the, their excuse to doing what is considered to, like, not be ideal or practical or normal is backed up by, well, we're not exactly normal ourselves, so it makes sense. What if, just once, it bites them in the ass? Like, start, like, just using flint on burning, uh, uh, just using flint to burn down vines, and then it just burns down the entire cave with them suffocating inside of it. I'm just saying, like, that's a, that's a pretty... Like, I get the sentiment they're trying to go for, but logically, like, that, 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 that makes no fucking sense. Although this is a video game, so... The fuck do I know, right? Yeah, that was my mistake, bringing logic into this. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing, then. Not even remotely. <laughs> uh. Uh. <gasps> you all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? <sighs> I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. 
Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malachim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. Listen, kid, if you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in trouble? You said exorcists bind Malachim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malachim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malachim aren't mere objects. Malachim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malachim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Turtles! Turtles! Are you a turtle demon or something? Okay, so... <laughs> I I have to mention this. Um if you listen to the Japanese, his voice is very different compared to what they went with in English. This is Japanese. Totas! Totas! Kame no Goma. Aye, Goma ja nai shu. Oira wa Hawaii kame ni su. Odorokase te shimatte kyoshiku su. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope. I'm just a plain old Toidles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. But for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Okay, first question. Why the fuck do you have that accent? <laughs> Oh my god, nobody who- Oh my god, nobody who listens to the English and only plays this game in Japanese. God, this has to be like- This has to be fucking hysterical for them. Just what the fuck? <laughs> uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha. And at old white turtle shop, we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Cease. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. Uh, much obliged. Hot <laughs> the fucking voice. <laughs> You sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. <laughs> Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. Skim likes to do that a lot. Turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. 
I was Teresa's second tethered Malachim, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> this kid likes to do that a lot, and it's just like a bunch of abnormality, and it's just like, well, it is what it is. Oh, I guess I haven't actually played uh, with Aizen on this one. Okay. Your style is really unique. <sighs> Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martel the goddess, and Daos, the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765, The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <laughs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it. They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier, all part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Stop! Those guards are... Careful! They're not what they seem! Transformed into demons. What kind of curse is this, Aizen? You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. I really like that detail. Just the little light returning into his eyes. That's a really nice detail. Hmm. 
Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Aizen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Sea Gate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Hey, not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat, if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. This door should lead to the gate, but it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. This is a part of why I love Isaac. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering... Indeed, and my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. No! <laughs> Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. <laughs> Is the key? It's in the control room. It's through there. God, that's so <sighs> badass. One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We I need that key, so much. but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No. Not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body, 
That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. I'm sad you that I don't the get to fight, right though. Out of my mouth. I would have loved to see that. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Arturius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists, then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. <laughs> uh. It won't open. It's locked from the inside. That's a real thick door, too. This must be the control room, right? That's my guess. We need another way in. That window would probably work, if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Ah! Aha! Found it. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass, too. Nice work. Look at that. Thank you. The light's finally returning to the place. Now to take care of that ship. Right. To the docks. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, my compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. 
Well, no worry. I'll just push your bump back down. You'll be good as new. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. Oh, okay. This is where Velvet Ratchet starts to play the role of the bigger sister. Hmm. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen. It's soft as a baby's skin. It's light and stretchable. It breathes, and it's quite durable. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact. At My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. An exorcist praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait! Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style! Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. You must be the reaper. We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's. I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. <sighs> <sighs> Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo! The Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. 
Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamata knives are cursed. Hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Vangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. So, this opens the gate? One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Alright, let's find the other device. Here while Goose Chase is fucking over. So now we can so now we can progress with the story. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. <clears throat> I can't let you do that. This is my This is my This is my fortress! The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the I Freed Way. <laughs> it's coming at full speed! Let's get a move on then. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance?
Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry. Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> You're lucky mommy lives around. <laughs> Let's go. I know it goes the last thing, but the animation done by Studio UFO Table, fucking beautiful. Done. You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and your shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Laffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My. my name? Laffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Laffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logress. Oh. 